Every day, Monday through Friday, we work, make, take care of our families. Earning a living, doing your part, that still means something in Northeast Ohio. We don't whine about it, we're proud of it. And on Saturdays in the fall, we let the world know it. It was such a pleasure and an honor to play for them uh, and to represent Ohio on that field every Saturday. You knew that uh, what you were doing was important to a lot of people in our state. First down and 10. The offensive I saw an opening deep down the field and ran. Uh, all I could see was just perfectly framed in the blue sky. I jumped up, caught it, flipped over on my back and landed. One of the greatest parts about being on a football team is you learn pride, you learn responsibility, you learn what it means to commit to a team, to put the team ahead of yourself, uh, and to sacrifice. The final step in my football journey was getting picked by the Colts in, in the first round of the NFL draft and getting to play for a Hall of Fame coach. The truth is, if it wasn't for the sacrifices that my grandmother and grandfather made to escape Cuba and come here and build their family, then none of this would have been possible. After Castro took over, my grandmother grabbed the kids, after losing all their belongings, boarded a plane, and flew to the United States. A big part of why I want to go to Congress is because of the impact that she's had on my life. She taught me that when the government stops serving the people and only serves its own interests, that you have a moral obligation and a duty to do everything you can. My grandfather on my mother's side served in World War II in the Navy. Our veterans serve in that capacity to make sure that we all have the opportunity to live the American dream. This is the only country on earth where you can come, not know anybody, not speak the language, settle in a place that's foreign to you, put yourself through school, build a business, raise a family, take care of your kids and the generation after that. I was fortunate to have two wonderful parents, a loving family, and a community that supported me throughout my entire life. I'm running for Congress because I love Northeast Ohio. I love the people of Northeast Ohio and I appreciate the values that they instilled in me. My father lived the American dream and was able to create a life for us that he probably never imagined. I'm worried that that dream is slipping away from far too many people in Northeast Ohio and across the country. And the reason is we have a government that's simply not working. I'm not a career politician. I'm a conservative and I have been my entire life. And to me that means three things. One, universal God-given rights for all individuals in this country. Two, a limited government whose primary purpose is to secure and defend those rights. And three, a free enterprise system such that we can exercise our rights productively. Northeast Ohio deserves a passionate, thoughtful, and committed leader who's not beholden to anybody, who's willing to fight and do the hard work to make sure that this government works for everybody. So when I was getting my MBA, I met the woman of my dreams, Elizabeth. We've tied the knot and uh, are, are looking now to, to raise our own family. And there's no better place, no better values than the values of Northeast Ohio. And now it's time to give back and to serve. For Congress, Ohio's Anthony Gonzalez.